Now, our problem this time, we have a uh, function 800 plus 300 e to the kt. So we've got some values already in there, which makes life easier. All we want to work out the first part is what's the value of k. So the volume increases by 5% after 6 hours. So to do that, so to find the value of k, we know that t was equal to 0, we get initial value of 1100. And then when t is equal to 6, we get the volume must be 1155. So I mean, that was, there's the trick in the first part, is that what was the initial volume? And then if it increases by 5% after 6 hours, then we've got our volume we can work with to find k. So there's, that's, that was a little bit different in, in that respect. So we put 11.55 equals the 800 plus 300 e to the, k, e to the 6k, because k is, uh, t is 6. And then we are able to solve for k, heading down to our logarithm. So 6k equals natural log of 71 on 60, and k would be 1 sixth of 71 on 60. So there's our value of k. Again, leave k like that. That's fine. If you want to put it as a decimal, if you must, that's fine. But that's okay. How long would it then take the volume to increase by 20%? So if the volume is going to increase by 20% there, what's the volume going to be? Well, it's going to be 1320. So 1320 would equal that expression, the 800. We want to find T here this time. So we subtract our 800 and then divide by the 300. Gives us either the KT, and KT would equal natural log of the 26 on 15, which that simplifies down to. And so divide by the k gives us 1 on k, and that's our value of k there. So again, we're to the point where we can put it all into the calculator, and that will occur at approximately 19.6 hours. So that's where we're looking there. Then find the volume, find the percentage increase in volume after 24 hours. So we look at time then being 24. So we want to get the volume at that time. So again, really that's just a case of substituting t is equal to 24. We had our value of k and we get approximately 1388 there, which means that the 1388 is 288 above what we had. So the 28, 288 over the 1180, so that's what we've actually gained with the start of 1100, which times 100 gives us a 26 percent increase in that time so a little bit different type of problem because we didn't, weren't given our starting value but we were able to manipulate to get exactly what we needed uh, in that percentage increase this time we've got uh, drought conditions for a grazier's flock which is decreasing in size so at that rate so dn dt equals minus 0.15 n minus 1000 n's the size of the flock, t's the time in months. Again, show that n is, that expression can satisfy the condition. Well, we do the same thing. We di differentiate dn with respect to t. A thousand goes and we get minus point zero point one five a to the kt. But we know a e to the kt there was n minus a thousand. And so we were able to get to our expression because we can do the substitution. So again, we can show that expression very easily. Uh, the second part we want to show that the, if the flock was 9,000, find the flock after, find the size of the flock after six months. So T was equal to zero, M was 9,000. So we're able to find that A is 8,000 from that part. And then uh, when T was equal to six, there, we were able to get that would be equal to 4,252 40, 4, from that. Uh, the next question, after how many months does the number of sheep drop below 30% 30, 30 of the original number? So 30% of the original number, which we said was 9,000, gives us 2,700. So we get to the 2,700 equal to 1,000, plus 8,000 e to the minus 0 0.5 t. And we're working for find t this time. So we subtract our 1,000, divide by the 1,800, and we're able to get our expression of 0 
0.15t, negative 0.15t equals the natural log of 17 on 80, divide by the 0, 1 negative 1 over 0.5t, uh, 0 0.5, we've divided by that, times the natural log of 17 on 80, and notice that that's going to be, that's a fraction, natural log of a fraction gives you a negative, so it's going to give us a positive answer, and that's going to happen after 10.3 months. And the last part of the problem, give a mathematical reason why a thousand sheep is the number at which the farm can best support the drought conditions. So if that's the case, as time approaches infinity, so if the conditions stay the way it is, as we keep going to infinity, either the point 0 0.15 times infinity, well because it's 1 over 0 0.5, 1 0.15 times infinity, that still starts to get pretty large which is going to be approaching zero. So the exponential part approaches zero. So n must approach a thousand plus zero, which is zero thousand. So that's where we get the idea of the thousand there. This time we've got corn cobs cooked by immersing in boiling water. And again, we're back to this function of cat minus k t minus t o. So verify that t o plus a e to the k t is a solution. We're able to do our uh, do that expression again, that t, uh, t is equal to this expression, so we can get that AE to the minus KT is T minus TO. We do our derivative, and we get AE to the minus KT, which is equal to T minus TO, so we're able to get that expression there. We get our data to find A and K, so temperatures of 100 degrees, air is 25, find, so that's going to give us the TO, surrounding temperature 25 degrees a and k comes about if we know that we get it cooling to 70 degrees in three minutes so t was equal to zero initially the temperature was 100 so the value of a ends up being 75 and then after three minutes we get the temperature being 70 so we can do that substitution we've got an equation with just defying k so 70 degrees, we get our 28, the surrounding temperature was 25, and we got the 75 there, so we subtract 25, divide by 75, we get e to the minus 3k, so by definition of a log, minus 3k is equal to the natural log of 7 on 9, 9 on 15, because we've just done the cancellation, or k is one third, minus 1 third of natural log of 3 on 5. So there's our values of A and K. And then how should long should a person wait to enjoy the temperature at 50 degrees? So we want our temperature to be 50. Again, we're going to find our value of T. So we substitute 50 in, subtract our 25, divide by our 75, which gives us the one third, and E to the minus KT. So minus KT is equal to natural log of one third, and we get T is equal to minus one on K then natural log of one third, taking our value of k that we found in our previous part. So be careful of all the negatives that are going on there, but that should, if you do the calculation correctly, it should come down to that amount. So you've got to be careful when you're doing the calculations because there's lots of negatives starting to come about and natural log of a fraction as well in a lot of cases, which gives you a negative there.